Hello, and welcome back to art class. Today, we will be learning about a Flemish Renaissance painter named Katharina von Hemmesen. She lived from 1528 to 1587 in Antwerp, Belgium. So here is, this is a map of Europe. Belgium is here in red. It's close to France, Germany, the UK is here. She is the earliest female Flemish painter of the Renaissance. Van Hemmesen is credited with creating the first self-portrait of an artist of either gender depicted seated at an easel. Okay, so this is what we're talking about here. So she is showing herself. This is a self-portrait and she is painting at an easel here. And so this was the first time that anyone had done this. As with many Renaissance female painters, she was the daughter of a painter, Jan Sanders van, van Hemmesen, who was her teacher. Her success gave her good standing in the Guild of St. Luke, which is a group of master artists. Katharina's success also allowed her to become a teacher to three male students. She mainly created realistic portraits, creating many different textures with her brush strokes. The sitters, or the people she was painting, were usually seen against a dark background. So you can see it here, this is a dark background and there's a lot of texture in her paintings. This type of framing and setting gave the portrait a personal feel. Okay, so here are a couple questions now about Katharina von Hemmesen. If you have the chance to make a choice, pause the video and make a choice. So where did Katharina live? In Belgium or New York? Okay, if you said Belgium, you would be correct. What color background did Katharina use in her portraits? Did she use a dark background or a light background? All right, if you said she used a dark background in her portraits, you would be correct. Great job. So now you're going to view a demo on how to create some art inspired by Katharina von Hemmesen. Here are the, here's the instruction page with the materials and any um, instructions that you need to complete the project. So if you need to, you can come back to this part of the video and uh, check it out after the demo. Okay, so now that you guys have learned all about Katharina von Hemmesen, you are going to do a project inspired by her. So this is a coloring page based off of one of her paintings. It's called Portrait of a Lady. And the awesome thing about Katharina von Hemmesen is that she was very, very detailed. She so showed a lot of texture in her paintings. So we're gonna practice that and put that on um, this Portrait of a Lady. So, so what you are going to do is you are going to take your texture drawing practice page and you are just going to copy what is already there. So all everything that's in the top boxes is on the practice page. And then I've already gone in and with crayons, I've drawn them again, just to practice doing different textures using um, the crayons. So once you've done that, you can you kind of get a feel for the um, how to do the different textures. And then you're going to use those to fill in this portrait of a lady. So you'll take the different textures, you'll choose one and fill in her dress or color in the dog or her bonnet, um, the sleeves of her dress. Okay. So you use these different textures to fill in the portrait of the lady using crayons, markers, or colored pencils, whatever you have. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna fill in, I've already done my practice page, so I'm gonna start filling in the portrait of a lady by Katharina von Hemmesen.
Okay, so there is the completed portrait of a lady using the different textures from the texture practice drawing page. And um, if you notice, I didn't use every texture that's here and that's okay. I just decided to use a couple different ones to show the different textures of the lady's dress and the dog's hair, her hair, the, how, the way the bonnet would look. And um, I think it looks pretty great. Very textured, very detailed, just like Katharina von Hemmesen. Okay, great job, you guys.